Hello, I, my dear students. Today in this class, we are going to discuss about uh, the civics first chapter. The civics first chapter, our constitution. The seventh class uh, civics first chapter, our constitution. Okay. See, for example, the first, uh, what are all the main important points of the concept, uh, the constitution of India. The first introduction of the constitution of India, the meaning and importance of the constitution of India, the importance of the constitution, and drafting committee of the constitution, the preamble to the constitution, our constitution at its, its own futures. What are the futures of the Indian constitution? For example, the next slide is what? Uh, the introduction of the constitution of India. You know very well, the constitution is a systematic record of law. The constitution is the supreme law of the land. The constitution is a set of rules and regulations of the country. Okay, see, after the independence, we have our own rules and regulations. It is also called what? Uh, constitution okay the constitution is a systematic record of law the constitution is the supreme law of the land the constitution it's a set of rules and regulations of the country after the independence we have our own rules and regulations it is also called what the, the constitution okay see for example uh, the constitution the indian constitution of the the constitution of india is the supreme law of india okay it forms the fundamental uh, political principles uh, processes practice rights powers and uh, duties of the government the world's largest constitution in the world. This is the first largest constitution in the world because of uh, in our constitution contained 395 articles are there, 12 schedules are there, divided into 22 parts are there. Okay, in our constitution approximately 145,000 words are there. Okay, see for example, this is the so making it the second largest active constitution in the world. Okay, see for example, in our constitution. This is the first largest written constitution in the world because of in our constitution contained a 395 article, 12 schedules, and divided into 22 parts. Okay, a one lakh uh, 45,000 words. Okay, in our constitution, it is not so easy to uh, uh, write, uh, it will take much, much more time two years, 11 months, and uh, 18 days. That's what this is the first largest constitution in the world, and this is the second largest active constitution in the world. Okay, so for example, uh, the, first, the Indian constitution formed by constituent assembly. Okay, this is also one of the important uh, uh, committee. Okay, the constituent assembly. The Indian constitution formed by constituent assembly. In this constituent assembly, Dr. Babu Rajendra Prasad was the president of the constituent assembly, H.C. Mukherjee and uh, Krishna Machari as the vice president of the constituent assembly. Dr. Babu Rajendra Prasad, he was the first president of India also. He was the first president of the first chairman of the new constituent assembly. Okay. See, for example, uh, in like that only, the next, uh, what are all the other members of the constitution, constituent assembly. See, for example, what are all the other members of the constituent assembly? Jawaharlal Nehru. Jawaharlal Nehru. Okay. He was the first prime minister of India. Okay. Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. He was the first law minister. Okay, I was the father of the Indian Constitution also. Dr. C. Raju Gopalachari, he was the, he was the first uh, uh, Governor General of India. Sarvapali Radhakrishnan was the first uh, Vice President of India. Okay, see for example, uh, uh, Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel he was the first Home Minister of India also. Okay, Iron Man of India also. Okay, na? see for example, uh, Sarojini Naidu, she was the first uh, uh, woman uh, President of Indian National Congress. The Lighting Girl of India, she was the first lady governor also. Okay, see, uh, Maulana Abul Kalam Azad, Maulana Abul Kalam Azad she was the first uh, education minister. Suchitra Kruparani, she was uh, the first uh, chief minister of India. Okay, in Karnataka also, uh, some important members also are there in the new constituent assembly. KC Reddy, she was the first uh, chief minister of Karnataka, S. Nijilingappa, and Kingalam Anumantaya. He was the first, he was, he was, he was also the father of the uh, Vidana Sauda. Okay, so for example, he was the founder of the Vidana Sauda also. Okay, so for the other members of the constituent uh, assembly. So for example, uh, when, uh, for example, what is it? Uh, the next uh, slide is what? Uh, see, the, the meaning of meaning up and the importance of the constitution. Now, you know the, uh, you know very well, the constitution is the supreme law of the land. The constitution is the systematic of the Okay, the constitution is the, uh, after the independence, we have our own rules and regulations that is also called what? Uh, the constitution. Okay. So for, for example, what are all the uh, uses, what are all the importance of the constitution of India? For example, uh, listen carefully to the constitution. For example, uh, uh, according to the constitution of India, the government are divided into three branches, three organs, legislative, executive, judiciary. 
Okay. See, for example, according to the Constitution of India, the government are divided into uh, three divisions, three organs, like uh, legislative means enacted law, uh, executive, enforced law, and judiciary interpreted law. These are all the main important uh, three pillars uh, of the government and democracy. For example, India is the first, not just a democratic country also. Okay. Uh, see, for example, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, for example, what? Uh, uh, the ex president of America, the 14th ex president of America, Abraham Lincoln, did like this by the people, for the people, of the people. That is also called but, uh, the democracy. The India is the first, not just a democratic country. Also. So, for example, the, the next important uh, concept is what uh, the drafting committee. The drafting committee, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, was the constitutional expert, was the constitutional advisor, he was a modern man of India, he was the chief architect of Indian constitution, he was the first law minister also. Okay, now, see, for example, the chairman of the drafting committee also. The, for example, that's what uh, the drafting committee, this is one of the most important uh, committee in our constitution. The drafting committee is a group of people who sit together to draft or frame the constitution. This is also called but, uh, the drafting committee. This is the main motto of the drafting committee. This committee is only take full responsibility to prepare the draft constitution. Okay, the drafting committee was set up uh, on 29th August 1947 under the chairmanship of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. Okay, in our constitution is unique constitution because of uh, that much of uh, uh, the drafting committee. Okay, so for, this is the importance of the drafting committee. Okay, the Dr. Dr. B. R. Ambedkar was the chairman of the drafting committee. Okay, this is also one of the most important committee in our uh, new constituent assembly and constitution. Okay, the next, what is it? Uh, say, for example, what is what is it? Uh, it protect what is what are all the main motives of the drafting committee? It protect the right of the citizens. All are equal. All are equal before the law. No one should be above the law. Everyone should be below the law. Okay, in coordinate uh, the functions of the democratic institutions such as the legislative, executive, and the judiciary. What all the interrelation between what all the coordination of the the three main organs of the government are there, no? Legislative, executive, and judiciary. See, for example, this one also main important, uh, uh, main functions of the drafting committee. Okay, see, for example, uh, that uh, the, the, the constitution assembly prepared uh, the new constitution and new constituent assembly and the new drafting committee also. Dr. Babu Rajendra Prasad was elected as a uh, president of the, okay, a uh, new constituent assembly. He was the first president of India. He was the first uh, president of uh, uh, new constituent only also. Okay, there uh, there were uh, 299 members in the constituent assembly. Okay, for example, uh, the first session was held on uh, 9th December 1946. Okay, see for example, when Indian constitution paramed in the year 1950. Okay, January 26. That is what we are uh, we are all celebrating now. Uh, Republic Day in that, that memory. Okay, but uh, this is also called what uh, see the uh, the formation of the new constituent assembly. Okay, this is the, for example, uh, uh, 9th December 1946. Okay, so for example, uh, next, uh, say for example, uh, the Indian Constitution was adopted on January 26, 1950. Is it or not? That's what we are celebrating now, uh, Republic Day in that memory. The Constitution declared India as a republic. Uh, for example, what is the meaning of a republic? Uh, say for example, uh, the India is a uh, independent. Okay, there is no rule of king here. Only the rule of uh, elected representative. That is also called what a democracy by the people, for the people, of the people. Okay, now, see, for example, uh, in the order to mark uh, the adoption of the constitution every year, January 26th, marked as Republic Day and its national festival. The Republic Day also one of the national festivals uh, because of uh, Indian constitution formed in the year uh, January 26th, 1959. That's what we are all celebrating. Uh, January 26th, uh, okay, in a, a national festival, that is also called but, uh, Republic Day in that memory. Okay, according to direct uh, directive of the constitution, the first general election was uh, Indian uh, India were held between 1951 to 1952. The election who take the responsibility conducting election, election commission. Okay, the election because of uh, uh, what is the meaning of uh, uh, what is it? Uh, a republic, uh, there is no rule of king, uh, only the rule of uh, elected representative. How to elect the members of uh, elected representative with the method of elections? Okay, elections also, the first elections uh, between 1951 to 1952. So for example, uh, the parliament with the 
bicameral legislating for example uh, what is the difference between the unicameral and bicameral the unicameral means what uh, having a single house bicameral means what uh, having a double house for neither Lok Sabha and uh, Rajya Sabha uh, you know Lok Sabha is a lawyer house Rajya Sabha is the upper house okay Lok Sabha is the temporary house Rajya Sabha is the permanent house okay who is the presiding officer of Lok Sabha speaker who is the presiding officer of Rajya Sabha vice president Okay, uh, for example, how to elect the members of the Lok Sabha direct election? How to elect the members of Rajya Sabha indirect election? The Lok Sabha is also called what House of People. Rajya Sabha is also called what House of Elders. Okay, so for example, in like that only, that is also called what a uh, bicameral legislative assembly. Bicameral means what having a double house, like uh, neither Lok Sabha, Rajya Sabha, neither Vidana Sabha, or Vidana Parishad. Okay. Next concept is very important uh, the preamble of the constitution, the preamble. Okay, see for example, where the people of India is the first word of the, the preamble of the constitution. Okay, the constitution of India began with the preamble. Okay, it is art and soul of the Indian constitution. The preamble is there, no, this is the art and soul of the Indian constitution. Okay, see for example, uh, see what are all the main uh, uh, aspects of the preamble of the constitution. Ju justice, freedom, self-respect, fraternity, and national integrity, and ideology. These are all the main uh, important um, aspects of the what is it uh, the preamble of the constitution of india okay now for example the next slide is uh but as uh, for example lord of sabir and Baker, you know very well okay, because he was a chief architect of the indian constitution he was the father of the indian constitution he was the modern man of india he was the, the constitution he was a constitutional expert he was a constitutional advisor he was the modern man of india he was the chief architect of the indian constitution okay in like that and see for example uh, the next slide is what uh, Dr. Babu Rajan Prasad, he was the first president of India, he was the first president of uh, the new constituent assembly also, Dr. Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, he was the father of the Indian constitution, but Jawaharlal uh, Nehru, he was the first prime minister of India also. Okay, what was the silent features of the Indian constitution? Okay, say so for example, a written and lengthy constitution, Party flexible and rigid constitution, parliamentary form of government, democratic system, dual franchise, bicameral legislature, independence of judiciary, party system, election system, federal system, direct principles of state policy, all India services, fund, fundamental rights and duties, uh, republic system, secular system, borrowed constitution. These are all the main uh, important silent features of Indian constitution. For example, uh, in your exam point of view, your syllabus lies. Uh, example uh, in uh, only few features of the indian constitution is very important uh, so that uh, means what uh, the, our constitution has its own uh, unique uh, features are there for example first uh, the written constitution you know very very well there are types of constitutions are there there are mainly there are mainly for example there are mainly four types of constitutions are there right right uh, for example on the types of constitution all the main types of constitution for example written constitution unwritten constitution Flexible constitution and the good constitution. The Indian constitution is the best example for the party flexible and party rigid constitution. So for example, the first feature of the Indian constitution is a written constitution. This is the first largest written constitution in the world, and detailed constitution, and lengthy constitution in the world. Because of why Indian constitution is the first largest and the lengthy and detailed constitution in the world, because in our constitution contains the 94 articles, 12 schedules divided into 22 parts and 97 constitutional amendments are there okay it is not so easy to write in our constitution uh, it will take much more time two years 11 months and 18 days in our constitution uh, okay one lakh forty five thousand words are there okay that's what uh, but it is not so easy to this that's what is the first largest lengthy constitution biggest constitution largest constitution detailed constitution in the world. okay so for example uh, this is the single constitution both for central and state government Okay, so for example, uh, for example, what that, that is also called the federal form of government. Okay, the federal form of government system also is there in the written constitution in India. Okay, now the, for example, what is the meaning of federal form of government? The federal form of government means for the powers and functions of the government divided into central and state. That is, that is also called the federal form of government. That's what the first feature of the Indian constitution is the written constitution. Okay, for example, uh, in the uh, Indian constitution is the first largest constitution in the world. But American constitution is the smallest constitution in the world. Because of what is the difference between Indian constitution and American constitution? The Indian constitution is the, in our constitution contained at 395 articles are there, 12 schedules are there, divided into 22 parts are there. Okay, so in like that only, for example, in American constitution, only 4,400 words are there, only 7 articles are there. 
Uh, that's what is the difference between Indian Constitution and American Constitution. Mm -hmm. And the Republic, next feature of the Indian Constitution is the Republic. But what is the meaning of Republic? The Republic means what? Uh, there is no rule of kings, only the rule of uh, elected representatives. Okay, it is also called what uh, democracy. It is also called what uh, by the people, for the people, of the people. Okay, it is the first largest uh, democratic system. Okay, say for example, uh, the political system is known as the democratic uh, republic. There is no rule of king, only the rule of uh, elected representatives. Okay, next uh, feature of the Indian Constitution is the fundamental rights and duties. That the fundamental rights and fundamental duties are the two faces of same coin. Okay, see for example, the fundamental duties and the fundamental rights and duties. Fundamental rights are borrowed by US, U, U, USA Constitution. Fundamental duties borrowed by USSR Constitution. Okay, there are uh, in our original constitution, uh, there are seven fundamental rights are there. At present, uh, the right to property is not a fundamental right. Uh, this is only the legal right. At present, only six fundamental rights are there. Okay, right to equality, right to freedom, right to against exploitation, right to freedom of religion, cultural and educational right, right to constitutional remedy. Okay, see for example, uh, under the article 14 to 18, right to equality, like that only. See, but under the article 14 to 32, okay, right to constitutional remedy, this is the autonomy soul of the Indian Constitution. According to Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, like this, the right and art and uh, the right to constitutional remedy is the art and soul of the Indian Constitution. Okay, this is that's what uh, there are uh, six fundamental rights are there. There are another one more, uh, what is that? Uh, the UB added fundamental right, uh, the right to education, right to education, or TE. Okay, as for example, right to education means uh, you know very well, uh, say under the article 21 A. Okay, so if I will give the overall information for about what is the right to education, okay, the free and compulsory education under the age of 6 to 14. Okay, see for example, uh, the fundamental duties, there are 10 fundamental duties. Are there. Okay, there are uh, six fundamental rights and there are uh, 11 fundamental duties. Are there. That's what I'm telling you. Uh, fundamental rights and fundamental duties are the two faces of the same point. Okay, the next, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, secularism. What is the meaning of secularism? Okay, see for example, uh, uh, what are all the important aspects of the uh, preamble of the constitution? The secularism is one of the main important uh, feature of the um, the preamble of the constitution of India. Okay, see so for example, what is the meaning of secular? Secular means what? Uh, we talk different types of language, we wear different types of dress, we follow different types of tradition, we eat different types of food, but we are all Indians. That is also called what? Uh, the sense of uniformity, the feeling of oneness, the unity in the diversity. This is only the right way to what are the implementation of national integration and the international integration, international collaboration. So, Okay, if I one for all, all for one. Okay, then there is no role of king, only the role of elected representatives. Okay, all, all role is role, role for all. It is also called what uh, secularism. Okay, so for example, next slide is what uh, the independence of judiciary. You know, according to the constitution of India, the government had divided into three branches legislative, executive, judiciary. Okay, in like that only, the uh, legislative means what I like, enact law. Okay, the union legislative thing, but what are the parliament like at the executive and judiciary, the independence of judiciary because of uh, uh, the uh, for example, uh, no one should be below the law, everyone should be below the law. Who is rule? Rule for all. That's what I'm telling. Uh, the single, what is it? Uh, the single integrated judiciary system. Okay, and uh, independence of uh, judiciary. Okay, there is no rule of king, only the rule of uh, elected representative. Okay, so for example, the Supreme Court is there. I court is there, okay, in the international level, uh, international court of justice is there, in like that only, the independence of judiciary, okay, the independence of judiciary, single integrated judiciary system. The Supreme Court is the final appeal court, like that only, okay, for example, uh, see, independence of judiciary, also one of the main important uh, silent features of the Indian Constitution. Okay, see, for example, uh, see, like that only, the next, uh, the universal adult country is okay. Okay, uh, first the last, uh, uh, what is it, uh, uh, for example, uh, the adult uh, franchise voting system. What is, what is the meaning of universal adult franchise voting system? Okay, so vote is the most powerful weapon in the democracy. Okay, according to the constitution of India, 
Okay, so for example, uh, what is it? Uh, the uh, one who complete the age of 18, who complete the age of 18, that person only eligible for uh, voting. What is the most powerful weapon in the democracy? Under the Article 326, it will, uh, it will give the overall information about the uh, adult franchise voting system. Okay, there are two types of elections are there, direct elections and indirect elections, uh, like uh, midterm election, uh, the universal election, uh, okay, uh, then uh, what is it? Uh, um, some important types of election systems are there. Okay, uh, say for example, uh, uh, midterm elections like that, uh, okay, direct and election, indirect elections, uh, universal elections, uh, okay, by elections, uh, okay, like that. Okay, say for example, uh, say that is also called what, uh, what is the meaning of universal adult franchise voting system? One who completes the age of 18, that person will be eligible for uh, voting, okay, irrespective of the caste. Sex or religion is enabled to vote in generally elections. Okay, see for example, uh, uh, this is also called what uh, universal adult franchise voting system. The election system, okay, who take the responsibility for conducting election, election commission. Okay, see for example, uh, India is the largest democratic country in the world. Okay, see for, for example, uh, uh, in the past six uh, declared, uh, for example, uh, there are uh, different types of political parties are there. Okay, for example, uh, is it a ruling party and opposition party, national party, and uh, what is it? Uh, regional parties, uh, for example, uh, UPA, NDA, Union Progressive Alliance, uh, National Democratic Alliance, uh, like that. Uh, national parties are there and regional parties are there. See, for example, uh, see, for example, uh, there are India is the best example for uh, direct election that is also called but uh, the universal adult party system. Okay, now for example, who takes the responsibility for conducting election, election commission? Okay, in this election commission. Uh, three members are there. One chief, uh, uh, chief election commissioners, uh, two members of uh, election commissioners. Okay, see for example, uh, that's what I'm telling you. The election system also one of the main point uh, feature of the Indian constitution. Okay, the, for example, uh, the constitution is uh, Indian constitution is the unique constitution. Okay, so that's what uh, this in this class we are going to discuss about uh, what is the meaning of the constitution, all the importance of the constitution of India. Okay, the drafting committee. Okay, under the paper of the constitution and uh, the types of constitution. And uh, say for example, uh, uh, the, the, what are the silent features of the constitution of India? Okay, thank you. Thank you so much for the cooperation. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. Okay, thank you. <coughs>